fried rice at Danny. He began to hear a very faint grinding sound, like metal straining. He exhaled sharply in frustration, sending a spittle of sweat that had collected on his lip outwards. As the sweat landed on the spring lock, the mechanism slipped out of place. Mike's entire world turned black. As the endoskeleton's face came loose and clamped around his head, he felt his eyeballs get crushed as the skeleton's globes were forced into his sockets. He felt his cheeks split and his teeth crack as the mouth segments swung out to meet each other inside his jaw. Two metal beams sprang out from either side, piercing his eardrums. At the same time, several large metal plates began crushing his head from all sides. He tried to yell, but he was already gargling his own blood, which spilled from his mouth and began trickling throughout the suit. More metallic clunks echoed around the room as the trickling blood started a chain reaction of multiple spring-lock failures. Mike stood there, jerking in place as multiple metal beams and cogs began shooting through his soft tissues. He could feel metal probes forcing spinal segments through his body. He lost feeling below the waist, but the metal legs held him firm as his spinal cord was severed. He tried to scream again, but the air erupted from the holes in his chest, followed by a red mist from his pierced lungs. Another clunk echoed around the room as the hard plastic parts were driven through the holes into his body. The tears in his abdomen finally met as one, and his organs fell out into the suit. A final spring lock went in his crotch as his stomach acid spilled over it, and his nether regions were skewered. With every lock now open, the suit manoeuvred itself into a default pose, with the mouth slightly open and one hand up in a waving position. Mike could not move. He could not speak. He could not hear. He could not see. All he could do was feel the pain and the life slowly draining from him and the shock setting in. It was a slow death, but eventually he began to feel cold. He could feel everything getting heavy and within the space of a few minutes, Mike was finally awarded the sweet release of death. I'll see you all in hell. <laughs> I have a suit, you can't kill me. Ha ha ha! help. I'm back to haunt you. Watch God's work.
Thank you so much for watching part 4. I was originally going to make part 4 like a 20 minute video since it was going to be my last one. But I decided to split it up and make part 4 10 minutes and then part 5 10 minutes. So part 5 is coming out very soon if it's not out already. And uh, make sure to check out parts 1 to 3 and part 5 if it's out. If you're watching this live, I want to thank you for joining me for the PM premiere. And uh, yeah, I think after part five, it's going to be the end of this, maybe, uh, at least for some time, because I want to do other stuff and not just FNAF, because of I somehow got 1.5 million views on my first one. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.